Going through. Now I'm going to add a rocket. And we just put a circle here, the window. And look at that, a rocket. Fantastic. Now I wonder if Luna Jim's in there. There's a man on the moon, you can count on him. He's getting lunar and his name is Jim. There's adventure ahead and a lunarific ride. Luna Jim. Okay, everyone. Our mission for today is to explore this section of the moon. All right, Jim. Let's get started. Wow! Look at this round plant, Jim. It's floating in the air. Jumping Jupiter. What a fantastic lunar discovery. And there's blue fruit on it. Let's take some back to Moona Luna. Ugh. Ugh. Hmm, a floating fruit plant doesn't seem that strange to me. I'm sure I could find a much stranger plant. <laughs> Yow! That hurts, mean old plant. Well, Ted, it looks like you just discovered another strange plant. One with very hard fruit. Fruit? Well, it was my discovery, so I'll take my fruit back to Eco. Whoa, it's really heavy. Do you want some help, Ted? No, I'm fine, I think. After all that work, this fruit had better taste really good. Wait a minute. I don't even eat fruit. <laughs> I'll call Eco to tell him about our fantastic discoveries. Come in, Eco. Hi, Jim. Eco here. Have you found anything interesting? Yes, we have. Lunar fruit. That is interesting. But don't eat any of it. We need to scan it so Pixel can make sure it won't make us sick. OK, Eco. We'll meet you at Mission Control. How exciting! <laughs> Oh, Dolores, I know you want to fly, but chickens just can't fly. There you go. I'm off to mission control. I'll be back soon. Keep both feet on the ground. Look at this, Eco. It's the fruit we found from a floating plant. I found this one. It's as heavy as a bag of cement. I'll scan them, and Pixel can tell us if there's anything in the fruit that will make us sick. There is nothing in this fruit that will make you sick, but it is very bubbly. And now Ted's heavy fruit. This fruit won't make you sick either, but it is quite heavy. All right. Who wants to take the first bite? Mmm. Delicious. It tastes like strawberry, grape and banana bubbles. Let's go and get some more. And I'll get more of my fruit. It probably tastes even better than bubbles. I bet it tastes like lemon and cabbage pickles. <laughs> Come on, everyone. Time to gather more fruit. Let's get Luna. Strange. I'm feeling really light. Hmm. We'll need room to bring some more fruit back. So let's take. Whoa. My hand feels really strange. It feels like it wants to float. I'll try using both hands to push the button. Let's take the hopper. <laughs> Strange Rover, like I could 
float away. Maybe my fruit tastes like prunes and onions. Oh, I hope you took us a day to go before we get back. I'm hungry. I think I will try some of Ted's fruit. Yum! Tastes like hot fudge peanut butter pancakes with maple syrup. Oh, oh, whoa! I feel as heavy as a giant meteorite. I'd better sit down before I fall down. Oof. Sorry, Daisy. I can't get up. I feel heavier than an elephant stuck in bubble gum. I hope Jim and Rip will come back soon. OK, the plants are over here. Great galaxies! I'm floating! Quick, Ted, grab Jim's boots! <laughs> I can't stop floating! Oh, no! Hold on to him, Ted! Come in, Eco! Hi, Ripple! Good thing you called! Listen, Eco, I don't know why, but Jim is suddenly floating up in the air! And I don't know why, but I'm too heavy to move, Ripple! I wish I could help you! Help her? Help me! Oh, I can't hang on much longer! Uh, Eco, are you going to be OK until we get back? Other than feeling heavier than a hippo, I'm fine. We'll be back as soon as we can. <laughs> Help! Uh-oh! Try to hang on, Ted! Jim's ah, flying away! And so am I! Jim, I'll catch you with this cable. Ugh. Yahoo! Good work, Ripple. Reel us in. Whoa. Almost there. Whoa. Thanks, Ripple. Now I need to get back to Moon and Luna to find out what's happening to me. Find out what is happening to you and Eco. Eco? Is Eco floating too? Is he feeling light like me? No, he's not feeling light. He's feeling heavy. There you go, Jim. You're tied down now and won't float up any higher. Thanks, Ripple. Now, how do we stop me from floating? Maybe we could weigh you down with something heavy, Jim. You know, like an anchor. That might get me back on the ground, but I wouldn't be able to move around very well. You're right, Jim. Then you would be too heavy to move, just like me. We need to find out why you're floating, Jim, and why you feel heavy, Eco. Are you hungry, Daisy? Go ahead and eat some of Ted's fruit. It's delicious. Daisy, what's wrong, girl? Oh, oh, oh. It's no use. She's too heavy. We can't get her up. Daisy! I think you've been eating too many puddings. Hmm. Daisy took a bite of Ted's heavy fruit just before she fell down. Look, Dolores is eating some of the fruit that I tried. Dolores, are you flying? Hmm. Dolores and I ate the floating fruit and now we're floating. You and Daisy ate the heavy fruit, and now you're both too heavy to move. I wonder what would happen if I eat some of the heavy fruit. Ripple, throw me a piece. Coming up, Jim! It's working! Ted, give Eco a piece of the other fruit. I'm not feeling so heavy anymore. Hooray! I can stand again! We did it! I'd better give Daisy a piece so she can move too. Whoa! OK, now Dolores. A little piece of the heavy fruit and she'll be back on the ground. Let's wait a bit. I think we should let her fly a little longer. Go, Dolores! That a girl!
Hey, Sid. Hey, Andy, what should we talk about today? Oh, I thought we could talk about numbers. Brilliant idea. What sort of number do you fancy? Oh, uh, how about five? Five. A special little guy. Special like the Pentagon, which has five sides. Five, five. Fingers in the air, but I've got five more if I look over there. Five, five. Toes in a shoe. Hidden in my sock in case they all shake loose. Five green bottles hanging on a wall. Fixed on tight so that none of them will fall. Five. 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 Pencils in the flower. Heads up in the sunshine looking for a shower. Five. Five. Lollies by my ear. I'm sure I counted six. One has disappeared. Five. Five. Day to go to school. And then you have a weekend and that's the rule. Five. Five. It's full of surprise. Please don't leave me hanging. You've got to give it five. Five. Come on, it's time to go to the nursery. Oh, 